So you can't play a pickleball point without having a serve. And so it's really important that we understand the different technical elements of serving. Let's start with the grip. There are a few different grips you could use when playing a serve. One common grip is the continental grip, and that is when the V of the hand between the thumb and the index finger is right on top of the handle. And this is a useful grip when serving because it naturally opens the pickleball paddle face, which makes it easier to play the ball with a bit of an arc. And it's a relatively stable grip, so the continental grip can work really well when you're hitting a serve. Another useful grip is the eastern forehand grip. And that's when your hand is slightly behind the paddle. And you'll notice that it closes the paddle face slightly. And this is really useful if you want to hit a lower, faster ball and still keep it in play. This is also a useful grip when you want to hit with topspin, because topspin requires brushing up the back of the ball. And if you do that with an open paddle face, the ball just goes way too high. So an eastern forehand grip is a really effective grip when hitting a forehand serve. When playing a backhand serve, the recommended grip is using a continental grip with the V of the hand between the thumb and index finger right on top. Again, because it naturally opens the pickleball paddle face, so you can get a little bit of height without much effort. When setting up to hit a serve, it's a good idea to stand in a sideways position. And that's because that way when you serve, you can turn your body, you can rotate through the shot, which is an easy way to generate power. When hitting a serve, it's important that you have a forward impact point, that you're making contact with the ball between your body and the net. This is a strong hitting position. If the impact point is beside you or behind you, it's going to be a much weaker hitting position. So you want contact to be out front, between your body and the net. When hitting a serve, you have a fairly long distance you need to hit it. So it's really important that the sensation we have when hitting the serve is a hitting feeling. After hitting the serve, it's really important that the players stay behind the baseline. Remember, the two bounce rule is in effect. And if I hit a serve and come wandering forward, if the return of serve is deep or fast, I might find myself struggling to have enough time to set up well for it. So it's going to be important that after a player hits their serve, that they stay on or even partly behind the baseline. When playing a drop serve, which is a provisional rule for 2021 and perhaps beyond, all the technical elements of regular serving are in effect with a couple important changes. Let's talk about them. The first is how you release the ball. A player can hold the ball as high as they want when they release it and allow it to bounce on the ground. But remember, you can't toss the ball at all. So it's important that you have a stable starting position, whatever's comfortable, release the ball, and then serve. One of the things that's interesting about the drop serve is that there are no more technical limitations if you're playing the ball after it has bounced. So rather than having to follow the rule of serving with a low to high swing path or making sure that the paddle edge isn't above the wrist, the player can swing however they want if they're playing a drop serve. So that means that they could swing on a downward swing path if they want to produce some backspin or sidespin. 